Jazz buzzers. I got rich when I understood this. I was working at a financial firm in New York City with a bunch of very smart people, and I had a brilliant boss. I much admired. I went to my boss and told him I was going to start a company selling boots on the internet. He took me on a long walk in Central Park. Listen carefully to me, and finally said, "That sounds like a really good idea, but it couldn't be an even better idea for someone who didn't already have a good job. You can have a job, or you can have a career, or you can have a calling." And if you can somehow figure out how to have a calling, you have to hit the jackpot. Because that's the business. I met Jeff Bezos twenty-five years ago, and he told me, "Dave, I want you to invest in my companies. What are you doing? I'm gonna start a bookstore in my garage." Okay, I'm gonna put it online. People buy, buy online, and I gonna ship out of my garage. But if you invest in me, Dave, some days I gonna be the richest man in the world. I'll do over one hundred billion dollars. First of all, there was no such thing as a hundred billion dollars twenty-five years ago. Statistically, there's no such thing. Counting didn't have a hundred hour national debt worth a hundred billion dollars, and these dudes telling me at twenty-six years old that he's gonna be the richest. Man's in the world because he has a garage in the internet. That was his too. No, but he did not. He didn't know it, and neither did I. But the difference between he and I is I was laughing, scoffing, and jesting at him, and he was already applauding himself. Going at the right ways at the perfect times, I gonna make us, may as much as I can as quickly, and I sitting there going there. No way, there's gonna be a big business. Do something we are very passionate about, and don't try to trace what is kind of the hot passion. Of the days, seeing in that lies, it's really worth a difficult choice. But ultimately, I decided I had to give a shot. I didn't know. I didn't think. I didn't think I regret trying and failing, and I suspected I would always be haunted by a decision. Choose no try at all after much consideration. I took the last thing, pens, to follow my passions, and I'm proud of that. Twice as a young boy, I had been a garage inventor, and invented a automatic gate closer. Out of Simmons feeling tired. A solar cooker that didn't work when it were out of、uh, umbrellas and aluminum. Four, baking pads alarms to attract my siblings. I always wanted to be an inventor. And she want me to follow my passions, 
It is a military place that has special love, and it sends slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And I have seen that in every endeavor I've ever been in that the kind of things that really allows you to make progress. You know, you get certain gifts in life, and you want to take advantages of those. But you, I guess, my advice on all on. Ever cities and success, who beat to be proud not of your gifts but of your hard work and your choices. As so, you know, you may be the kinds of the gifts you get. You know, you might be really good at math. It might be really easy for you. That's a kind of gifts, but practicing that math and taking it to the next step, that could be very challenging and hard and take a lot of sweat. That's a choice you can't really be proud of your gifts, because they were given to you. You can grab force for them, and send for for them. And but your choices, your cho you choose to work hard. You choose to do hard things. Those are choices that you can be proud of. You can choose. We all get to choose our life stories, and it is the choices that define us, not our gifts. Everybody's in these rooms. Has many gifts. I has many gifts. You can never be proud of your gift, because they are gifts. They were given to use. You mind it. You know, Charles, and you might be really good at math, or you might be extremely beautiful or handsome, or you know, they are. Or there are many gifts, and you can only be proud, really, of your choices, because those are the things that you are, that you are, that you are acting on, and one of the most important choices that each of us has. And you know this just as well as I do. You can choose a life of ease and comfort, or you can choose a life of service and adventures. And when you are eighteen, which one of those things you think you are going to be more proud of? You are going to be more proud of having chosen a life of service and adventures. Never been a better chance to be alive. I mean, it is just a incredible the amount of inspiration that the world generates for me, and I think for a lot of people, it's just it's insane the amount of change and inventions. And opportunities you lie, the lies you alter from scratch on your own beginning begins. How we choose use your gifts, what choices we do make, will inner tears be your guide, or you will follow your passion. We do follow job marks. As we do based originals, we do choose a life of ease, or a life of service and adventures. We do wait under crit criticism, or we do follow your convictions. We do bluff it out when you were wrong, or we do or 
apologize or withdrew. Apologize, withdrew God, your heart against rejections, as withdrew at when you fall in love. Withdrew play it safe, or withdrew spit a little bit, swan to buckling. When it is tough, withdrew get up. Oh, we do be relentless. We do be a sickness. Oh, we do be a burden.